While near-peer rivals of the US, Russia, and China possess sophisticated missiles and drones, things proliferated in the last decade, these relatively cheap missiles and drones can wreak havoc and cause disproportionate loss. Laser Weapons Hypersonic missiles. Battle for the future. Why Israeli laser system can't fight hypersonic missiles. The longer a war lasts, the greater it grows. So, as the Israel-Hamas war continues to rage with no end in sight, nations of the world are already holding meetings and picking sides. It's only a matter of time before they pick up their guns and join in. China is one such nation. This world power has been heavily involved in operations globally, and the war might be no exception. The U.S. is Israel's close ally. In the spirit of the enemy of my enemy is my friend, China could easily lean towards Hamas and use the ongoing war to test out its new ruthless hypersonic missiles. For many reasons, these missiles are considered impossible to defend against. They are the most unstoppable missiles in the world. But Israel doesn't know what impossible is. The nation is one of the best protected in the world and has just unveiled a new laser defense system designed to defend against anything and everything. So, in this video, Israel's laser weapons go head-to-head -head against the one weapon that could make them seem pointless, China's hypersonic missiles. Chinese hypersonic missiles It isn't much of a debate anymore. China's hypersonic missiles are the most advanced in the world, surpassing even those of the United States. The world power of the Asian continent is building a hypersonic arsenal like no other. The standout members of this arsenal are the Dongfeng-17, the Zingkong-2, and the YJ-21. The YJ-21 is a missile that can reach speeds as high as Mach 10 and travel up to 930 miles to strike its target. Footage from 2022 saw the missile cold launched from the vertical launch system of a Type 055 Renhai class guided missile cruiser, proving that the missile may already be in its testing phase. Once deployed, the missile could find a home on not only cruisers of the Chinese Navy, but also on the new Type 003 Fujian aircraft carrier, the largest conventionally powered aircraft carrier in the world. The Zingkong-2 is a wave rider hypersonic missile. This means it rides on its own shock waves for greater lift, less drag, greater range, and an overall improved performance. The missile is reported to have a top speed exceeding Mach 6, a maximum range of 6,200 miles, and a space-bordering flight ceiling of 98,000 feet. Then there's the missile of the hour, the Dongfeng-17, or DF-17 for short. The DF-17 is the most mature of them all. Seven times the missile has been tested, and seven times it has passed the test in flying colors. An impressive 100% success rate. Combine that reliability with a top speed exceeding Mach 5, an operational range of 1100 miles, and top-level maneuverability, it's easy to see that China does, indeed, have a hypersonic missile that air defense systems would find almost impossible to stop. In fact, only a few would dare attempt the daunting task. One of those few is Israel's new laser air defense system, the world's first true laser weapon, the Iron Beam. Iron Beam Laser weapons are in the process of breaking free from the confines of Hollywood movies and make an appearance in reality. After decades of trying, powers of the world are finally figuring out how to make weapons that could grill targets out of the sky. One of these weapons comes from Israel, and it's known as the Iron Beam. To take out a target, the Iron Beam must first generate a laser in a process called stimulated emission, where atoms or molecules within a lasing medium are excited to release photons. These photons bounce back and forth in a chamber between two mirrors, eventually creating a concentrated beam. The beam then passes through amplifiers to get powerful enough to wreak havoc on their targets and to enable the laser weapon to strike targets that are far away. The amplified beam is focused on the target using specialized lenses. When the concentrated beam hits the target, it's smooth sailing from there on out. The laser can fry the insides of a target to destroy it or simply disable it, whichever one it prefers. While this may be a criminally simplified version of a very complicated sequence of events, it does paint a clear picture of how the iron beam operates. Regarding its benefits, well, for one, 
At the cost of a cup of coffee, Israel could now shoot Hamas's $1,000 missiles out of the sky. Once in service, the Iron Beam will be able to intercept rockets from Gaza even before they cross the Israeli border, ensuring that the Israeli people asleep are interrupted by their alarm clocks only and not explosions. While this may seem like a system of the distant future, Raphael, the manufacturing firm, claims that the Iron Beam would be ready by next year for partial protection of Israel and one year after that for complete protection. Israel would be the first country in the world to have such capabilities. The Iron Beam's impressiveness was put on full display in 2022 during a test at the Negev Desert in southern Israel. Powered up and ready to cook, the Iron Beam was tasked with detecting, tracking, and with its concentrated laser, intercepting mortars, rockets, and UAVs, all of which the system did in flying colors. Depending on its effectiveness and efficiency, the Iron Beam could work alongside the Iron Dome or be so advanced that it doesn't need a sidekick and ultimately retires its predecessor. In case of a tag team between the two systems, the division of labor would be clear. The Iron Dome would detect incoming threats, calculate their angles, speed, altitude, flight patterns, and trajectory. If it's determined that the threat is headed towards a populated area, then interception is required. The interception comes in the form of a powerful laser beam fired from the Iron Beam. The Iron Beam reducing the world-renowned Iron Dome to a scout is quite a shocker, but it is also a testament to just how capable the system is. For one, the inherent capabilities of lasers make the Iron Beam that much more the better option for striking targets. Lasers are a form of light, therefore they are immune to the many challenges faced by kinetic weapons, such as wind and gravity. In addition to that, laser weapons have 1. An unlimited magazine Guns and missile launchers, lethal as they can be, are significantly limited by bullets and missiles. Once they run out of ammunition, they're more useless than a sword from the Middle Ages, and they do run out leaving their operators in a bit of a precarious situation, to say the least. This is not the same with the Iron Beam. It doesn't rely on projectiles to deal damage, but rather on the energy that comes with lasers by default. The main operational cost of such a revolutionary weapon would therefore only be an electricity bill. With a reliable power source on standby, the Iron Beam completely cancels out the need for military artillery to reload, introducing an unlimited magazine with highly efficient shots saving precious time, and since every second matters on the battlefield, ultimately saving lives. 2. Speed of Light Attack Lasers are some form of light energy. In fact, the word laser is actually an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And for the Iron Beam's 150 kilowatt laser shot from two separate laser guns, one bonus for being made out of light isn't that love follows, but that it is capable of moving an estimated 180,000 miles per second, the speed of light, making lasers the fastest thing in the universe. No drone, mortar, missile, or fighter jet stands a chance at outracing this weapon, whether it's supersonic or hypersonic. And for this reason, the Iron Beam has a success and precision rate as close to 100% as possible. For the Iron Beam's targets, destruction is assured. 3. Intelligence The Iron Beam is an intelligent weapon that does the bulk of its work without human intervention. This is expected, seeing as humans could never keep up in terms of aiming with threats moving at the speed of sound. The Iron Beam can, and does, autopilot itself in detecting and tracking threats, and then taking them out. This automatic nature of the weapon is why Israel plans to have Iron Beam units lined across their borders, preventing threats from crossing into the country and ensuring a sound sleep for the people of Israel, including the military, who will definitely have less direct defending to do. The Iron Beam is also designed to allow for militaries of Israel's allies to easily be trained and deploy the weapon in next to no time, translating into instant integration of the weapon wherever it takes a tour. A likely destination is, of course, the United States, which has been heavily involved in not just the development of the Iron Beam, but also the Iron Dome. In fact, as of 2023, the U.S. has provided nearly $3 billion to Israel for Iron Dome batteries, interceptors, co-production costs, and general maintenance. The Iron Beam seems to check all the boxes required of an air defense system, all except one. To be the one-fits-all air defense system it is touted as, it must leap over one last hurdle. It must tick one more box. It must detect, track, and intercept hypersonic missiles. So, the question is, can it do that? Can the Iron Beam stop hypersonic missiles? Can the Iron Beam stop hypersonic missiles?
Modern hypersonic missiles are too fast and maneuverable to be intercepted like their slower subsonic or supersonic cousins. Therefore, the question of a laser weapon intercepting hypersonic missiles is no easy one to answer. Multiple factors go into deciding if it is possible or not. Factors such as 1. Power Output According to Pentagon assessments, power output is the first limiting factor of laser weapons. To intercept a Chinese hypersonic weapon in flight, the U.S. would need at least a 1 megawatt laser weapon. That's over three times the power output of today's most advanced tactical laser system. But even such a laser would likely still struggle to burn through a hypersonic missile. After all, these missiles are designed to withstand temperatures in excess of 1700 degrees inherent to hypersonic flight. In addition, the laser would have to strike a single point on the missile to burn through. Therefore, a simple rotation of the missile body could put an end to the laser's interception efforts. And to top off the frustration, China could easily add more heat shielding to its missiles. 2. Line of Sight Unlike traditional interceptors, which can be launched at targets identified beyond the horizon, the very nature of lasers limits them to the line of sight, since they only travel in a straight line. This presents problems when the laser needs time to burn through a target. Hypersonic weapons like China's DF-17 may be traveling at 2 miles per second or even faster, meaning there would be precious little time to actually destroy the weapon should it appear in the laser's line of sight for only a brief time. 3. Atmospheric Scattering it's easy to see a laser beam as a thin beam of energy that continues onward forever, but that's not the case at all. Water vapor, sand, salt, smoke, air pollution, and other substances found in the atmosphere can all have a scattering effect on laser beams, therefore limiting their impact on targets. This atmospheric turbulence is a serious problem, to the point where the Pentagon currently sees lasers as a viable weapon system only at ranges of less than a mile. And even optimistic projections for the near future still only think lasers will be viable at ranges less than 5 miles, which is mighty insufficient when up against missiles that travel 5 miles in, at most, 5 seconds. Weapons manufacturers are certainly aware of these factors. So, if their laser weapons would halt hypersonic missiles in their tracks, they know what must be done. If these factors are addressed, maybe, just maybe, laser weapons like the Iron Beam have a chance of being the only things on the planet that can shoot hypersonic missiles out of the sky. Laser weapons and hypersonic missiles are two weapons that could dominate the future and, more importantly, keep each other in check. As powers of the world building these weapons pick their sides in the Israel-Hamas war, it's only a matter of time before hypersonic missiles start flying and laser beams start frying. To pick a side in this battle, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.